Today we're opening up an entire booster box of the new Pokemon card set, Temporal Forces. Now guys, I know a lot of people have had mixed feelings about the Scarlet and Violet era as a whole, but personally, I think this set has a chance to turn things around. I think there's a lot going for it. Of course, there is a ton of beautiful illustration rares in here, but personally, I'm chasing that special illustration, Walking Wake. There's also a really cool trainer card featuring Morty and Gengar, so hopefully we can pull one of those cards in our opening today. Let's get into it. Now Legends, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke, and after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I hope you'll come along the journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. All right, I feel like it's been a minute since we've opened up an English booster box, and I'm uh, pretty stoked for it today. Why don't we start things right off with some good luck. We got a walking wake pack. Let's start with that one. That's the one we're chasing today. All right, we got a rock rough to start off. Litten, Shroomish, Licky Tongue, Bianca's Devotion, Reuniclus, Explorer's Guidance. Nice little ancient uh, stamp up there. Dealing reverse. We got a reverse Finizen. And do we have any first pack magic today? Not quite. Just a hollow Maridon, but these definitely look pretty cool with the future uh, kind of transition there. All right. Well, Walking Wake let us down, but let's get into our second pack here. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the Paradox Pokemon, which are heavily featured in this one. Uh, personally, I would say that I actually do like some of them. I'm not going to uh, make a blanket statement and say they're all awesome, but um, actually some of my favorites have been Walking Wake, and I do like the Entei version. I keep forgetting the name of it. I'll have to look it up later. All right, we got a Latias Reverse and a Hollow Fluttermane. Again, these do look really cool. Nothing yet, okay, we got the um, the Raikou Paradox form, and again, here's a good example of one that, even though I love Raikou as a Pokemon, I just, I just can't get over this one. I don't really, I don't like it at all. Now, it's not to say, if I, if I pulled the, the SIR of it, I guess I would be a little excited, but, I don't know, it's not really the one that I'm stoked about, but, yeah, we definitely will want to get the Suicune and the, uh, the Entei ones. Here we go, anything? Can we finally get a hit here? Not there. We may have something here though. Just a Gouging Fire, that's his name. So there's the Entei Paradox form. Pretty cool, just the regular EX version. And that is a five bond graphic, so nothing too great, but not too bad for our first hit of the day. All right, things are finally picking up. Let me know what you guys think about this set. Are you guys excited for it? Is it a pass for you? What are you guys doing? Mightyena, Great Tusk. That's actually a very nice artwork right there. Oh, and I see something peeking back there. Okay, we might have a trainer of sorts, possibly. Just a Meryl here, and we got Morty's Conviction, just the uh, the full art trainer so it's not the one we we're looking for we're looking for the one that's the SIR with the Gengar in it but uh, I will say I do like the colors on that guy a nice uh, guy foo or husband foo as I like to call him personally I think uh, things are only gonna get better from here as far as the Scarlet and Violet era goes traditionally that has been the case you know this uh this set kind of lines up to uh, when we actually got battle styles in the sword and shield era and battle styles wasn't great but it wasn't bad it's when they first introduced um the uh, alt art so from what i can tell they don't seem to be introducing anything that new here other than the ace bet cards okay just a hollow karaidon but i do actually like that artwork that's a pretty cool one. I do like Coridon. I'll probably be adding that to the, the binder. Personally, I really don't think the Scarlet and Violet era has been that bad. Honestly, if you compare it to, uh, to what we got in earlier Sword and Shield, like Sword and Shield base and 
a Darkness Ablaze. Uh, ooh, there we go. We got an Illustration Rare. It's a pretty cool one. Metagross in the snow. Even got a little snowman there. Do you want to build a snowman on top of a hollow flutter mane? See, I definitely understand where people are coming from if they feel like Scarlet and Violet is kind of meh. Um, I personally think it's just a little bit above average, though. I think it's actually pretty decent. And I, I think if they've uh, given us this many good cards up until this point, I think we've got some really cool things probably up ahead in the, over the next year. So I'm excited to see what all that entails. Here we go. Nice Haunter artwork there. That's kind of cool. Pikachu, nice. Ghastly, extra drill, Screamtail. I'm a big Screamtail fan, personally. It might actually be an improvement on the Jigglypuff design. Some hot takes here. Rosalia, Haunter Reverse, Hollow Macargo. Always a good time to open up a booster box. So many packs that you can open. Definitely makes it fun. Future booster energy capsule. Iron hands. Heavy baton. Ribbon B. Bolton. Iron Valiant Hollow. Another. Chitat. I may see something in this one as well. All right, let's hope we got something good here. Could be a full art of some sort, maybe a trainer, maybe something else. Let's see, under here we have Great Tusk, and that's a really cool looking reverse hollow actually. And with that nice artwork we pointed out earlier. Okay, and we have something here. What could this be? We have... All right, we got the Full Art Gouging Fire EX. That's not too bad. I will say, as, full, as far as Full Arts go, which are not traditionally my favorite, this one has some pretty nice colors on it. We'll definitely take it. All right, Walking Wake will give you another chance to redeem yourself here. Tranquil. Hope you guys enjoy the Tranquil openings that tend to be featured on this channel. If you want the, the screaming and yelling, you might want to go somewhere else because we're just going to be relaxed and having a good time here. Lucky Tongue and Karaidon peeking behind there. Well, you know what? I think it is time. It is that time that we do a mega stack. All right, so if you're not familiar with this, what we do, we pick out 10 packs, and we are basically gonna pull out all of the hits from those 10 packs. So, like usual, gonna open it up, toss the code card, toss the energy, and then we got two potential hits right here. We'll just set those to the side, make sure we did it right, and we do it a couple more times. Goodbye, goodbye, one, two. So I like that uh, reverse hollow Raichu. That'll probably go in the binder as well. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look at there. I guess in the uh, the second reverse spot, or the first reverse spot, you actually have the potential to get the A spec card. So I guess we got it in that one. All right, and one last. Boom, boom, boom. Double check. All right, we got our mega stack of cards right here. We should have 20 cards in here because we got two from each pack. All right, guys, let's start off with our first one. Just a reverse. All right, not that's fine. That's fine. All right, next up, really can't, really can't with these hits. Oh, not too bad. We got the Shiftry illustration rare. That's very pretty, actually. Yeah. Again, even for the Pokemon that I don't like or care about, they they definitely hit with these illustration bears. Next up, we have a hollow iron thorns, a very cool one. At some point I definitely gotta pick up that that uh alt art promo or the illustration rare promo from the ETBs. We got a Litten. We have something. Sizor, EX, very cool. 
All right, we'll see that up in a second. We got Zorora, Macargo, Carvana.com, not sponsored. Underneath there, just a hollow Melmetal, an Excadrill, if I can talk. We have Iron Leaves, the uh, Verizian Paradox Pokemon. All right. Chetot, Iron Thorns, something, nope, just a Roaring Moon Reverse. Actually, Roaring Moon Hollow, that's an interesting little double hit there, sort of. And we got Car Carkle, Iron Valiant, there's a few left here. Do we got anything, anything else? Oh, that was a nice Scyther, and a Whimsicott Hollow. All right, admittedly, not the best mega stack in the world, but we got two hits right here. All right, well, we can keep going with our regularly scheduled opening. Let's see what we have in here, anything? Oh, I see maybe an ace spec. All right, we got the hero's cape. These definitely look pretty cool, so that's in the first reverse hollow spot on top of my Tiana and Hollow for Ralligator. Man, what a cool card that one is. All right, here we go. Meltan, Nuzleaf, Mencina, Rockruff, Bronzong, Ancient Booster, Energy Capsule, Iron Treads. Not seeing anything in here. All right, I don't believe we've seen our box hit yet. So uh, there's still potentially something really good to come. We also probably can get at least one or two more illustration rares. Here we go. Let's just go through a little quicker. Yeah, I didn't think I saw anything peeking in there. Medicham, Perilous Jungle, Unpheasant, Senescorch, Dribbler, Macargo, and we got the Skull Valiant EX. Let's take a second and get organized here so we can see our hits. But we still got quite a few packs left. Let's keep things rolling. C dot Totodile. That's a nice artwork, by the way. There's a lot of good artworks where the Pokemon is like half in the water, and I feel like that that one is really nice too. Shaman, Frozmoth, Hollow for Alligator again. Come on, let's get him. Slugma, Solosis, Scyther, Skitty, Sincino, Great Tusk, Morty's Conviction. Do I see something here? Might just be the regular hollow though. Roserade, yeah, just the hollow bram Bramblegast. Anything? Nope. Like to buyer. Whoops, something fell there. Keldeo, Roaring Moon Hollow. Utoot. Beldum. Heatmore. Roly Coley. Airy. Colossal. Box Order. Fluttermane Reverse, Hutoot Reverse, and Incineroar EX. Cutie Fly, what a cutie fly. Dribbler, Relor, Ponita, Explorer's Guidance, Latias, Ancient Booster Energy Castle, quite a mouthful there. Do we have anything here? Is it just the hollow? Looks like it. Done sparse. Whoops, you didn't see that. We'll edit that out. Fly code card, Litten, Shroomish, Licky Tongue, Charger Bug, Buddy Buddy Puffin, what the world? Zerura, Sharpedo, the cousin of Sharknado, Mincino, Cottony, Hollow Drampa, such a weird Pokemon. Feels like we haven't seen much in a while. 
still feel like we've got something, something still waiting for us in here. Sableye, Arbok. Yeah, there's a nice Arbok illustration right here in this set. Ramblegast. Couple left. All right, we got one of each uh, artwork. That's convenient. Well, we gotta save the walking wake for last. All right, come on, let's get him. Bronzor, Mudbray. There we go, Ghastly. Finizen, Boxed Order, Screamtail, Sableye, Beldum. We have Electabuzz, this is a nice reverse hollow there. Hollow Fluttermane. I don't know, does that uh, full art gouging fire count as our box hit? I mean, certainly there are some booster boxes that don't have a main hit. And what I mean by a box hit, you know, usually it uh, is going to be like a special illustration rare. In the past, it's been like a rainbow rare. Could be a gold card. I don't know, one of those. So I just feel like there's got to be one. It's not guaranteed, but it's very likely. So we just have three packs left here. What do we got? Electrovire, Turtwig, Iron Treads, Reverse, and Dunsparce. Dang. Well now, man. It's getting down to the wire. It's time to get that second to last pack of magic. All right, what do we got? Dunsparce, Snom, in the snow, Pikachu, Scyther, again, a really sweet Scyther artwork here. Iron Valiant Rescue Board, Ribbon Bee, Drampa, Skitty, and oh, another, another full art, Raging Bolt. Oh man, oh man, is that gonna replace our hit? Oh man, that's a little rough. It's kind of cool, but uh, I just I'm having a bad feeling about this. All right, guys. Man, we really, really need that last pack magic. Is it in here? Again, we only got two illustration rares. I would have expected at least three. All right, guys. Let's see what we're ending off with today. We got a Slugma. We got a Solosis. We got a Skitty. Electabuzz. Oh, oh, we got something. Oh man, do we got our last pack of magic in this pack? I see something down there. Come on. We got a Grubbin. And what is this we got? Oh, okay, we got Bianca's Devotion, interesting. All right, well, this is our box hit. This is the SIR. It's a nice textured uh, full art trainer. Special illustration rare. Not quite what we were hoping for, but at least we got something decent to end things off today. All right, and on top of a Mel Metal Hollow. Thanks as always guys for your support and for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you think about this set. Check out one of our last videos on screen. If you like Pokemon card openings like this, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. And lastly, I wanna let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you next time.